Hi, my name is John Goldsby. You're about to watch a video from my Discover Double Bass course, Tell Your Story, Creating a Jazz Bass Solo. I hope you enjoy it. Scott LaFaro was one of the greatest jazz bass soloists, and he burst on the scene in the late 50s. He played with uh, Stan Getz, Victor Feldman, and this record uh, is called The Arrival of Victor Feldman from 1958 with uh, Stan Levy on drums, Scott LaFaro on bass, and they play an arrangement of No Greater Love. I encourage you to check out the original, but uh, I've transcribed the bass line, which is really interesting, and has a little solo break at the end of the bass line, plus uh, LaFaro's solo, so you'll get to practice that as well. So let's look at the bass line to start. It's kind of a medium tempo. Um, one, two, a one, two, three, four, one. So you see what they did is they played uh, the melody in C major, but then they put a little inter interlude at the end of the melody where LaFaro Lefa plays up into the stratosphere, and then they modulate to the key of G for the solos. Now Victor Feldman was a piano player and a vibes player, so he played the melody on piano and the solo on vibes, which was kind of slick. Uh, let's look at the solo break that Scotty plays uh, in measure 31, yeah, through the end of the chorus. They land on an A flat 13 chord and he plays. So that's pretty slick. I think he plays those last few notes with a little left hand pull off here. And then in bar 33, he plays up the neck, which is typical LaFaro. He plays. And that starts walking. The, uh, the thing I like about that little lick that he plays. Uh, It reminds me of the Jimmy Blanton solo on Pitter Patter Panther from 1940 with Duke Ellington. Uh, Blanton, on that recording, he plays... Uh, uh, so way back then in the 40s, Blanton was playing... Here we have LaFaro playing, you know, similar thing. I don't know if LaFaro ever really checked out Blanton, but I'm sure he checked out Ray Brown a lot because Ray Brown was a uh, top cat on the jazz scene in the 50s and uh, no bass player could 
uh, ignore Ray Brown at that time period. So yeah, work out that solo break very slowly. You'll get a chance to play it in a minute. Now let, let's look at LaFaro's solo. On the original recording, this starts at two minutes and 10 seconds. I, I encourage you to check that out. Uh, but the solo sounds like this. One, two, three, four, one. Back to the top of the melody. So there's a lot to unpack in that LaFaro solo. You can hear uh, in his later solos with Bill Evans, he often played up and down the neck, and he was very young when he recorded this, but uh, his technique was already sort of burning. You can hear, oh, he's really practiced his scales. So like at letter A, so the second section of the tune, he plays... faster than that. So yeah, I'd encourage you to take these uh, licks measure for measure, work them out very slow. We'll play uh, a version of this uh, up, up to tempo at the regular tempo and uh, yeah, work it out on your own and then play it with a play along track. Okay, let's go to the trio and play this. I'm looking forward to this. One, two, three, four, one.
Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about the course, the links are provided below.